Jared Hayne became an international sensation when the former rugby star made the 49er roster. Jared was the Peyton Manning of Australia. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to fans on this side of the world, Jason Holmes was becoming the Jared Hayne of America. On the same August night that Hayne made his preseason splash, Holmes, brother of Raider receiver Andre Holmes, became the first born and raised American to play in the Australian Football League. There he is, the big fella. First game. You go train for three weeks in Sydney, and then a year later, you know, you're signed by a club. You know, you're playing footy with Australians that have been doing it their whole life. A crazy transition, geographically and athletically. Holmes grew up in Chicago, played college basketball. His only clue that this sport even existed? Saw it once on ESPN2 with my dad when I was barely a teen, and, and that was it. But at six foot eight, with big time leaping ability, he was a perfect fit as an Aussie rules ruckman, responsible for putting the ball into play, kind of like a basketball tip off, though that's just the tip of the iceberg. My job is to make sure that I get my teammates the ball first, mainly to tap it to them, let them get the ball first, and then you become just another footy player. That was a good tackle by Holmes, the big fella, the big Holmesy. You need to be able to jump, you need to be strong, you need to be, um, cunning, I guess, or, or intelligent and quick on your feet. Oh, I think the biggest thing would be endurance, you know what I mean? I think, um, you know, our game down under, you don't get a lot of rest and it's very ongoing game, ongoing flow. So it's like anything, you know, once you get used to it, once you understand it, you know, it should be fine. Holmes' Aussie emergence made as much of a splash there as Haynes did here. So you can add celebrity status to the growing list of adaptations. G'day Saints fans, Jason Holmes here. I'm one of a kind where I'm, there's not too many 6'8", you know, black Americans out there. So every time I left the house, it was, you know, people recognize me. And they're very supportive and get excited. He's kind of thought of as, you know, a hero out there. Can't even walk around without getting recognized. And as he walks the Aussie walk, he's beginning to talk the Aussie talk. It's funny because now when I talk to him on the phone sometimes, he picked up some of that Australian accent. Still a bit lost for words at times. Two years go by, you come back home, and everyone, all your friends and family you know, don't understand anything you're saying. But the guys still back in Australia still make fun of my American accent. It's all in good fun for a guy who realized his dream of becoming a pro athlete, though he never dreamt it like this. Anyone can make adjustments in life and it's all the same. Here he is. Oh, he's Holmes. Making history was very important to me, I think, when I first was signing up to play. It's a great selling point to anyone. You can, you can do something special. I really realized when it came down to it, I would have regretted myself if I didn't have a crack at it. I don't want to live my life with any regrets. Scott Reese, KTVU, Fox 2 News.